Happy New Year, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. This is our year to shine now. It's a whole new year, 2021. And I wanted to come today to you to open my first January experience. And uh, also to say a few more things about Simple Abundance, which we just wrapped up. I hope you have had a wonderful New Year's Day that maybe you did something special in the terms of meal uh, options like we talked about in a recent video. Did you at least stay up till midnight? I have to say I had this plan to either jump or stand on one foot at midnight and I just was not necessarily paying attention and it was 12.02 and all of a sudden I went, oh no, I missed it. So I didn't officially get the stroke of midnight, but still said Happy New Year and got my kitty kiss at, at midnight. And I did wear special underwear to bed too. The colors shall remain nameless. <laughs> um, and so I'm feeling really good. I spent the day journaling and really getting my new journal set up. And I wish I had said these things in the last video as I was wrapping up the year, but I just hadn't really had the time and now I actually have some time off from work, which is really nice. So I just wanted to move into the new year knowing that we're going to be continuing on with some of the principles that we, well, actually all of the principles that we were talking about for all of 2020 from Sarah Bon Bronick's book, Simple Abundance. The channel is not 100% dedicated now to going through her book but we still will be discussing things that are along the same lines of her principles. And they are across all of my thumbnails, joy, harmony, beauty, order, simplicity, and gratitude. Thanks for sticking around if you were with us all last year. And if not, I hope you go back and watch some of the videos. You could start from scratch and follow along in the book for 2021. Yeah. So we know what the principles are. I just want to go through some things that I'm hoping to continue doing that Sarah was encouraging us to do all of last year as we were reading the book. Remember it's one hour a week where you're going on some sort of creative excursion that's a date with you and you. It's not with other people. It's a personal time to maybe go to your favorite store or go to an art museum or whatever you can do in this this time of COVID. And also an hour a week where you're working on something that really inspires you. It doesn't have to be that you're going to be writing a book or a, making a movie or anything like that, but just something like a hobby or something that's really going to lift your spirits and giving it time, taking a little bit of time. Also, an hour per day. I know that seems like a lot, but an hour for yourself it can be two half hour blocks, remember? So this is time for you. It's time to reflect. It may be time to meditate if that's what you wanna do. It's working on some of the simple abundance tools that Sarah told us about, such as the illustrated discovery journal or doing your gratitude exercises. And speaking of those tools, so besides the illustrated discovery journal, we talked about a hope chest, we talked about a toy box, we talked about the gratitude journal, making a treasure map, maybe you might want to redo that for the new year, and gathering things for a spa supply, like so you can pamper yourself, and also a comfort drawer, which is like for the, the bad times when you need a special handkerchief or your favorite lotion or something like that to really comfort you. So if you are not sure what all those things are, you can go back and revisit videos from 2020. And we're still going to be talking this year about being authentic. That's one of the main things about Simple Abundance, right? So anything that I choose to talk about is going to be related to like connecting yourself with a, a soul level version, like the highest good that you can can have and like listening to the real inner voice it's going to probably be related also to self-care and self-love that's something the self-love part is something that i struggle with and i really want to 
try to work on those things and bring those forth to the channel this year as well. We also talked about asking for help, accepting it if it's given, looking for beauty. That's one of the principles, looking for beauty in your daily realm, like in your house, whatever you can do to bring beauty in from the outdoors, like having flowers around, just seeing the beauty out the windows or when you're driving down the road. So taking in the beauty, reveling also in the senses. So you might be seeing all those things, but bringing in things like your favorite smells and in like maybe it's the texture of something like your sheets or a blanket that you really like and and the sounds that you want to hear and remember there's that intuition too there's a very spiritual aspect to this simple abundance path so I'm sure I'll be bringing in some spiritual elements too with any any author that I bring to the to the channel from here forward so simplify also simplicity is one of the principles simplifying whatever you can in your environment your life maybe it's a process of doing something today I made my new list in my journal or I like to keep that list of like something is really irritating me because it's extra difficult then I write it down so that I can come up with a solution and try not to let it bother me because it's taking up too much mental energy also order and I I think you know if you watch my channel I like systems and my planner and schedules and to-do lists so whatever you can do to bring more order into your life it's going to lend to peace and harmony harmony is the next one and trying to seek that out in your relationships in your environment in the way that you balance maybe work and life and in your experiences. Planning your schedule around you. Remember that was such a novel thing that she told us? It's like, no, you don't schedule yourself into the to the schedule. Everything is scheduled around you and your your self-care time and your personal Sabbath. I am definitely gonna be having a personal Sabbath. That is one main thing that I gave up in 2020 and I really didn't have it much in 2018 or 19 either. Well, most of 2018 I did, but my weekend job is now done and I'm gonna go back to Sundays are gonna be totally my day and I'm not gonna be doing errands, I won't be cleaning. It, it's gonna be a day if I wanna stay in my pajamas all day, I can, but it's gonna be my time. So that is another thing she tells us to have that personal Sabbath. Life is not a dress rehearsal. That's the thing she told us. So reveling in accomplishments, reveling in occasions, like however you can make special occasions be a little bit more exciting. I think we need things to look forward to, just like this envelope project. Remember I showed you guys at the beginning of last year that little flip book I have where it says every day is, is a holiday? I'm going to go through that and just pick out some fun ones. Like I mentioned popcorn day last year. So I'm gonna go through and pick out some fun ones that I can just put on my schedule so that it's something else that's fun. I mentioned my friends and I are doing things like watching a movie at the same time. So anything you can do to, to schedule in fun like that is good. And so joy, right? Joy is about the experience of this life and and finding things that bring you joy even if it's the smallest thing like popcorn day that will absolutely bring me joy <laughs> having healthy boundaries very important we talked about that showing your friends and family and even strangers kindness love and gratitude knowing there is a divine hand in things and Remember we talked we talked a lot about money and Sarah had a whole bunch of abundance entries and she did try to hit home that fear about money or or really succumbing to lack consciousness is totally pointless. And I'll say what I said yesterday. She said this in her closing entry that all you have is all you need. 
Also, fear is going to repel abundance as well. Look for angels on earth in, in the smallest ways that you may encounter them. Listen for divine inspiration. There could be some sort of like wavelength that you're on and all of a sudden you come up with this idea and nobody's ever thought of it before. Or you come up with an idea like the word for the year and you think that it's so novel and then you find out 10, 10 plus years ago somebody else made, made the idea. Anyway, but we talked a lot about that last year. And as, in terms of fear and courage, we talked a lot about courage. I love this quote. I'm going to always remember this. Courage is fear that said its prayers. Yeah. I think the main thing about simple abundance, aside from gratitude really being at the basis of things, but the real message in in addition to living authentically, because now I'm thinking of a bunch of things, but what I'm trying to say is that the real message is that life is not about things per se. It's about experiences. It's about people and relationships and living in the moment. So it's not necessarily about your monetary things. And remember, all these principles, I'm going to be leaving them up on my thumbnails, but all of them are this interwoven, there's a golden thread with all those principles. I can kind of like see a golden thread with all the words on it. And they're interwoven and they create this tapestry of contentment. I shared with you and some of you guys in the comments shared with me that we didn't really get there last year. It was kind of a tough year. But going forward, we can still try and and try to get to that place of contentment. I love the, the image of a tapestry sort of like wrapping you in contentment. There was a lot in Simple Abundance too about following your dreams and listening to the inner voice. And Sarah was very clear when she said, if you deny that inner voice and you just keep plodding on and not listening, that that's what leads to ultimately dis-ease, right? Disease or, or ailments or like psychosomatic sort of things like heart murmurs and or fluctuations and things like that. Because uh, it's definitely going to get to a point where your body is just gonna totally revolt. Believe in yourself. That was a big message for yesterday's last entry. And follow your star, your true north. And I was telling a friend earlier today, I think for my year to shine, because the stars are something that are, that are big when you think about how they shine, I might even see about getting a star named after me. <laughs> we talked about that. I forget what entry it was, but... I might do that just to mark my year to shine. I don't know if it's super expensive. I don't know. So I'm rambling and I know you probably clicked on and you're like, simple abundance, I thought we were done with it. But I wanted to start off the year just telling you that then this is what I did in my journal today, getting it all set up and I just wanted to make sure that I, I really honored what we just went through and I didn't forget any of the things I don't I might have forgotten something but I think I got the main gist of everything as I was writing it down to carry into this new year even though we're not reading the book every day although some of you might be so on to my something to look forward to so I don't know what this is but my friend told me that it was going to be best in winter so I don't you know, I didn't look at any of these. I'm opening it live with you, so I don't know how I'm going to react. And I'm not going to say the friends that give it to me because I didn't get permission to do that. So, oh my goodness, <laughs> this is going to be really fun. Okay, and if you don't know what this is, I asked 12 of my friends, and actually there's family members as well, special people in my life, to write up a, an unexpected day for me for each month. So this is, there's one for each month, and this is my January one, and 
then I'm going to be reading them and it'll be my fun little thing. So I already know it's going to be fun because I see the words Aloha and there's a little palm tree. It's time for your trip to Hawaii at home. All right, cool. Head to Party City or Walmart or Amazon and get a few Hawaiian themed decorations and some lace and a tiki cup. If they have cat sized ones, make sure you get one for Annabelle. Same goes for her Hawaiian shirt for both of you. Maybe some silly sand, kinetic sand for playing in the sand. Do you have a lava lamp? That's so cool. On Hawaiian day, turn up the heat in your place if it's cold outside. If not, open the windows and let the warmth in. Shorts and Hawaiian shirt or a fun summer tee and sandals are in order. And your lei, maybe a flower in your hair. I have another idea if she doesn't say one of the things in here related to Hawaii. Foods. All right, so she suggested King's Hawaiian Rolls, pineapple tropical fruit salad, pineapple or guava juice, maybe a blue mock cocktail. Hmm, I'll have to look into that. Hawaiian pizza. Yeah. She says, I love it with just the pineapple, but not everybody does. Hawaiians eat a lot of spam. <laughs> I didn't know that. Ooh, a garbage plate. It's AKA mocha loca, a plate with macaroni salad, white rice, pork, or a burger, fried egg and gravy. I'll have to look into that. That sounds complicated. Polynesian or Chinese food, anything symmetry or picnicky, something sugary in place of sugar cane and rum. Meals are at the beach, of course. Set up a beach chair and or a picnic blast blanket or just put the picnic blanket on the sofa if it's more comfortable. Spend the day surfing on the channels, that is, she says. Not sure what's available, but a few ideas. All right, so this is what I was gonna think. Oh, she does mention the one because you know I love Elvis, so she has Blue Hawaii on here. So she has Hawaii Five-0, Magnum P.I., Baywatch, Gilligan's Island, The Brain Keith, The Brian Keith Show, Blue Hawaii, the Descendants, From Here to Eternity, Gidget Goes Hawaiian. Maybe a tropical scented bubble bath at the end of the day while listening to Israel Camo... Oh my god, I don't know how to say... It. Oh, I, I do know the Somewhere of the Rainbow. I don't know how to say his last name. You know that really cool one with the ukulele sound? Yeah. This is so fun, so listening to, to that. This is gonna be so fun. This is awesome. So that's my first my first assignment. And so I will be going out and getting the supplies and choosing a day to do it. And you know I'm gonna have to find Hawaiian and tropical sort of stickers to decorate my planner day for that day for this special occasion. Thanks for being here. Annabelle just got all frisky. I'll have to think of something too that I can do for her. Um, that's related to that. I don't know. Maybe there's some sort of like special cat medley that I can like make more Hawaiian or something. So that's going to be fun. I'll tell you how it goes or maybe, I don't know if I'll do a video that day, but I will definitely tell you how it goes and that's going to be a lot of fun. I hope you're doing well. I hope the year is off to a great start. Stick around because I have some ideas of things that I'm going to be bringing to you this month and I will see you on the next video. Here's to 2021. Take care.